subscribe, like, share, put on your notification bell so whenever we upload you'll be able to get notified. Do you know who you are as a child of God? Let us look in the book of 2 Kings chapter 6 from verse 1 to 6. And the sons of the prophet said to Elisha, See now the place where we dwell with you is too small for us. Please let us go to the Jordan and let every man take a beam from there and let us make there a place where we may dwell. So he answered, Go. Then one said, Please consent to go with your servant. And he answered, I will go. So he went with them, and when they came to Jordan, they cut down trees. But as one was cutting down a tree, the iron axe head fell into the water, and he cried out and said, Alas, master, for it was borrowed. So the man of God said, Where did it fall? And he showed him the plate. So he cut off a stick and threw it in there, and he made the iron float. Oh my goodness! Did you hear that? He made the iron to float. Have you ever heard that? That a stick. It's not even a wood, but a complete stick, which means a tiny stick. Maybe he threw it like this. But because of the power, the anointing, because of the glory of God that accommodated the hand of Elisha, the words of Elisha, he commanded a stick and the stick that do not swim began to swim down to the river Jordan and this stick swam down and went to the axe head which is a heavy metal and commanded as said axe head listen and listen very careful I don't want to have a debacle with the man up there who has sent me to command you to begin to swim back up so that they can have you back. I don't want his trouble. I don't want him to command any other thing. Do you visualize the miracle of a stick swimming instead of floating, but it began to swim downward. And not only that it swam downward, it came to the axe head and told the axe head, listen to the word of Elisha and let us begin to go up. And the, according to your Bible, it said that the axe head swimmed and stood at the top of the water. Have you ever seen an iron floated and stood? and swimmed on top of a river. That is the power children of God carry. That is the anointing children of God carry. Why is it always in every generation? Christianity is always at the scrutiny point that people always make mockery of Christianity because we don't know the power we carry. We don't know the anointing in us. We don't know the glory that are accompany our words. We're always so afraid. We always, we don't want to offend anybody. And that makes us a target always. If you calculate all the apostles that work with Jesus, all of them was brutally killed because they did not understand the power that is in them. My message to you today, if you read the book of 2 Kings chapter 6 from verse 1 to 6, I want you to speak to yourself and I want you to digest the power you carry as a child of God to command not only the axe head, but also whatever that is not working accordingly in your life, whatever that is not going according to the plan and purpose of God in you. God has given you the power, the mantle, the, the ability to do exploit. Are you going to keep on being afraid? Today is the day. Go and do exploit like I, Elisha did. The power is in you. Exercise it until I come your way next time. I love you, my beloved sisters. Bye. Thank you, my amazing people.